Well, it's just so unusual. I, at first, I just thought, oh, you probably found a couple things on this place. And then as I'm going over your Instagram page and I'm seeing all the stuff that you're pulling out of there, I'm like, this doesn't even seem real. Like, how could this one area have so many bones and so many tusks? Like, how many tusks do you have, mammoth tusks? We stopped counting. Not because we can't count that high. It's just because what's the point? Thousands? I have a friend that says I got 10,000 dead woolly mammoth on my ground. Wow, in five acres. Yeah. That's insane. I, Has, have any of these paleontologists speculated on why this one area would have so many dead animals? No. If they have, they haven't told me. And so you you dated a few of them. And what were the dates from those few? They went from as recent as 3,000 years ago to 22,000 years ago. Wow. And the reason this site is so interesting to them is because it's from all from one little area. So the context is there. And it spans what's called the extinction event. Uh, Graham is yeah. and Randall. Yeah, the Younger Dryas Impact Theory. Yeah. And so I'm kind of going along with them because... People but that would make sense why they're all there. Well, you got to remember that the world, the Pleistocene started, what, two and a half million years ago? Mm hmm. And stopped about 11,800 years ago. Yeah. So that whole area was ice, except for an ice free corridor between Siberia and Alaska in the lower 48 that went right through where we're at. So there was migration happening coming through there. And these animals lived there for tens of thousands of years, the grazers. Well, wherever there's grazers, there's going to be carnivores. You have the short-faced bear. You got the cave lions. You got. We found all that stuff. You found short-faced bears. Yes, sir. Really? Yep. You got a short-faced bear head. Yes. What does that look like? It's huge. How big is it? Right about that. <laughs> they stood when they stood up on their hind legs. They were twelve feet. Yeah, um, we've shown photos of uh, these replicas standing next to people. Yeah. No, it's they're it's huge. nuts. And and not only that, but you know, you have a little mini factoid for you. Uh, you know, it takes a mammal twenty two sec twenty one seconds to take a leak. Did you know that? No. Check it out. Okay. And, by the way, I hope you have your bullshit detector on. I know you got one. And any time you want to throw it on, you throw it on me. I believe you. No, I'm just telling you. Okay. So, some of the stuff sounds no no fucking way. There it goes. Twenty seconds. Empty their bladders in twenty about twenty seconds. There yeah. you go. The golden rule. Yeah. All mammals weigh more than 2.2 .2 pounds, empty their full bladders in about 20 seconds. Unless you've been drinking. I've gone 100 seconds before. I bet you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a contest. Yeah. And uh, so anyways, the uh, you got to remember also that a grizzly bear can cover about 100 yards in eight seconds. And they got some pretty powerful noses on them. So all these animals that stop to take a piss, they get whacked. I that's my theory. I don't think that's a good theory. It probably not. <laughs> I have another theory though that I discovered in Florida. What? Uh, pelicans fly in groups of prime numbers. They do. It seems like that to me. I pay attention to shit like that, Joe. Okay. Now, if you say, "Look, there's a group of eight pelicans flying over there," I'll go bullshit. There's one, and then there's seven behind it. Mm. There, there's 23 of them. Yeah, you're right. Prime number. Interesting. But I, I threw that out on my Instagram one time to challenge people. Go find a group of pelicans or pen, <laughs> pelicans flying in an odd number. And it was kind of hard for them. So, you ain't, you ain't got pelicans around here, but. No. I'm not a fan. You ever see pelicans swallow seagulls? <laughs> they just grab a seagull, swallow it whole. Yeah. They're ruthless motherfuckers. Oh, they are. Like, people think of pelicans, oh, they carry, it's like a stork. They carry the baby. Those big birds. No, I, I that, saw, that thing is to swallow giant things. That's why their mouth is so big. 
I saw a pelican last year. Drew was with me, and it had a fish stuck sideways in its gullet. He couldn't hack it out. He couldn't get it out. And there wasn't another pelican around there to help it put his beak in there and pull it out. I mean, this thing was gagging on it. Um, don't even know what happened to him. They probably figured it out. You'd think. Yeah, I mean, they're evolutionarily designed to swallow enormous things. Just think, they were they were goddamn <clears throat> dinosaurs about 60 million years ago. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah. So it's a it's a wild place. So this mass extinction event theory does explain why there would be so many all in this one. Area.